You have one unheard message. First unheard message. Hey, baby. It's me, again, with another voicemail. I can't remember how many of these I've left for you. <laughs> it's like you're playing hard to get. But... Why? You know, you were never like this. You always picked up my calls, even when you were busy. You would always pick up. Tell me to call you back later, then hang up. But now, it's straight to voicemail. It's like you don't even care what I have to say anymore. I know you still care for me. I just know it. Because you're still my baby. I really, really hope you haven't forgotten about me. About us. Because I haven't. I mean, how could I? You were the best thing to ever happen to me. You're the most beautiful and amazing person I have ever met. The way you look at me, the way you smile, the way you touch my hand. It ignites the fire in my soul. My heart beats for you. And I want you to know that I love you, you silly, wonderful human being. I don't know how to put it into words, but when I'm with you, everything just feels... right. Remember when we used to cuddle every night? We would lock our eyes together and talk about everything. You would tell me how much you love my voice and how soothing it was. And I would tell you how much I love your charming smile and pretty much everything about you. Sometimes I would run my hands through your hair and give you hand scratches. You hated it at first, but then you grew to love it. You would ask me to give you head scratches whenever possible, because it helped you relax and sleep better. Have you forgotten that, my love? I haven't. It's still fresh in my memory. Please, don't let one bad memory ruin what we had. I know you better than that. Why would you let such a silly mistake linger like this? Just move on, my love. You know that my love for you is everlasting and strong, and that I will always cherish and adore you, my precious love. You know I'm hopelessly in love with you. Almost to the point of obsession. So, why? Why did you have to act so surprised when I acted on impulse when one of your co-workers was touching you all lovey-dovey like that? You know I get jealous, and yet you acted like this was fine. You knew I was there and was watching you. And you still didn't pull back when your co-worker was touching you all over. You wanted me to see that, didn't you? You wanted me to get jealous, right? That's what you wanted, right? Don't deny it. I know you love it when I get jealous, because you love the fact that I'm obsessed with you. You pretend like you hate it whenever I'm being super clingy to you, but deep down, I know you freaking love it, sweetness. So, why don't we just move on from that incident, huh? All in the past, and I know... I have already moved on from that. What do you want me to do? 
apologize to your co-worker? They knew what they did. Plus, they knew you were taken. So... Okay. For the record, I didn't threaten your co-worker, okay? It was merely a warning. I was just sending a clear message to your co-worker and everyone else near that you are mine, and mine alone. So they would back off, or I would do unspeakable things to them. Technically, not a threat. Sweetness, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I will never threaten your co-worker again. I'm sorry. Please, please come back to me. I miss you. I miss you a lot. You were so good to me, and I took you for granted. You were so charming, responsible, and thoughtful to me. So please forgive me whenever I get a little bit jealous when someone tries to get close to you. All I could do was sit there and worry that someone else was seeing what I saw in your adorable eyes, and that they were going to take you away from me. Please, let me back into your life. I know you miss me too. Don't pretend like you've never loved me, because you did. My voice, my gaze, my skin, my lips. You loved everything about me just as much as I did. So, sweetness, can we move on from one incident and potentially get back together? Would you give me a second chance? I promise I will be better this time. I won't be controlling. I will tone down my jealousy, okay? I love you so much, sweetness. Only I mean it when I say it. I love you. And I'll love you forever and ever. You are the most incredible person I have ever met. And yes, I was wrong. Oh, sweetness. Don't throw away what we had over a minor incident. I can change. I will change for you. I can do anything. As long as I have you by my side. Let me back into your life, sweetness. You know you want to. You know you're longing for my warm embrace. You know you want me to put your lips to mine again. You want to feel my hands caress your face again. I know you want to get lost in my eyes. Again. So please, 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 sweetness, put an end to this meaningless breakup and come back to me. You know you want to. Stop hiding from me. I mean, stop hiding from the truth that you still love me. I really don't want to leave another voice message for you. Your phone is probably tired of receiving all these voice messages anyway. If, if only you pick up my calls, I wouldn't have to send voicemails. I want to hear your voice again. So badly. Please come back to me, sweetness. Or at least call me back. Call me back. Please, sweetness. I love Message deleted.